Hey, my man, can I help you? Let me get an autograph. Nah, I ain't signing the autographs when you get off my car. You don't remember me, huh? Creed 3 is where our protagonist Adonis gets to finally have the film for himself. Now the Creed trilogy has been a legacy series thus far, and it's always been having to deal with the past Rocky films, something always creeping up from the Rocky films and coming into the Creed movies, and now we finally get to see Adonis handle the whole situation in its own little pocket world. I'm gonna be honest, at first when I saw the trailer, I was like, this is out of nowhere. I don't know how they're gonna make this work and I'm not really feeling it. I wasn't that excited to go in and see this movie. Though they did stay true to the Creed formula, with us getting to see a little bit of Adonis's life and then something bad happens, then training montage, and then we come back and we become victorious in whatever we need to win it. This goes through the same pattern, so it still feels like we're watching the other two Creed films. And even though Damien makes an appearance that kind of comes out of left field, he brings in the emotion and the use of flashback is done so incredibly well that it slowly unveils what's going on in the bigger picture as the emotions build up and we lead up to the climax of the film. However, I do have to say that the story is very face value. There's not a lot of depth when it comes to these characters, but it does follow the character progression. The core of this story really comes down to pride, ambition, and priorities, and what it all matters. Now I'm gonna get into spoilers, so you've been warned. I've already talked about how flashbacks were greatly used in this movie, and because there's no longer a tie to Rocky, we're not taking clips or scenes from those old movies. We are now looking at uh, Adonis and seeing his childhood and Damien in it. And I think it's good that they made it a slow burn and they didn't reveal everything that happened way off in the beginning. We got to see from the trailers that it looks like Damien pulls a gun and possibly saves Adonis, but we didn't get to see that Adonis actually runs away from the situation and never goes to visit his friend. And this kind of explains why we didn't hear about him before. Adonis has this thing where he doesn't really wanna talk about his past or his emotions. He just kind of wants to bury it. That was then, this is now. And he has to grow to be able to become one with his emotions. It turns into kind of a very manly testosterone situation but i think is sending a healthy message overall damien is built up to be the main antagonist of this movie but he's really never really shown to be the bad guy. The flashbacks show him as kind of an idol to Adonis and they got a good friendship. Maybe he's, you know, doing some bad things, but the kid's got a good heart in a sort of weird way. And then whenever we get to see him training or leaving prison, he, he doesn't seem like he's going out of his way to uh, abuse or take advantage of everyone. And it isn't until right up into the second act, moving into the third act, that we see uh, Damien's true colors. That is, ambition gets the better of him. He will stop at nothing to get what he wants or what he thinks he deserves or needs. Now, this is similar to what Donis, who trained really hard and worked really hard and did and sacrificed his own life to be able to achieve the goals that he has today, except Damien Damien's gonna take it a step further and actually cheat at the sport. But at this point, when we get past the first act and get into the second act, it's weird because we're, in a sense, wanting to cheer for Damien, or there's some sympathy there. We're kind of, in a weird way, okay with him cheating. At least I was. Now, I do understand where, where the problem lies. He, he then cheats and wins and achieves his goal, achieves his dreams. However, the movie never makes a point about him cheating. The, the movie is that he will step on others to get what he wants. And this is shown through him hiring someone to sabotage Adonis's like a uh, prideful championship match. So Adonis's pride gets hurt over Damien's ambition and Damien has a grudge because Adonis never called him back after their, their night at the gas station together. And so it, it kind of just builds up and builds up to where words are not enough for them and they, they gotta box it out. And the reason I say we have sympathy for Damien is because a lot of his 
bad actions are actually kind of done off screen. We're just told through exposition that he was talking trash about you and he's been saying this and he's been saying that. We haven't really seen the actual repercussions of Damien's actions towards Adonis. Really, we're just seeing the emotional impact that Adonis is feeling for not being able to be friends again with Damien. And I think that's kind of powerful. I also really, really love how everything in Adonis's life is a reflection of how he's feeling towards his friend Damien. His daughter picking fights at school and him having to take responsibility for it is a foreshadowing of what's to come. Adonis's wife, Bianca, having to let go of her own dreams and having to settle down for something she didn't aspire for originally is giving Adonis the opportunity to understand and relate to Damien's ambition and how he was never able to reach his own goals and they got interrupted as well. And of course, Marianne Creed, Adonis's mother, who he's had spats with throughout this trilogy, finally passes away in a very emotional scene between her and him. But it is the final nail in everything going bad in his life that really makes him want to appreciate and not take for granted those that he loves. And he, he has every reason, every excuse not to go forward or not to mess with Damien, but what he does best is he fights and he doesn't fight always for himself, but for others. And this is shown through when they finally get in the ring with one another to duke it out. I like to think I've made it kind of a stable that in my reviews, I focus on the choreograph or the action scenes because that's something that I care about. And I genuinely think that an action scene can elevate a story where words cannot and you can express those characters intentions and goals uh, differently through an action scene. This was heavily done in the third act of Creed, uh, beautifully mind you, where they make it very atmospheric and they get rid of all the noise literally and they have these two guys that just duke it out and fight and it becomes very emotional with no words uh, rarely being said between the two of them but you are able to get understand the emotion that is being portrayed by both of them and as i was saying before where they're not really making damien the bad guy you do feel for both of them in each one of these fights you want adonis to win but you also want damien to still achieve his goal and the final outcome is satisfying and that they actually get to talk after the fight and then they get to talk and they get to tell each other that they're sorry and how they both feel at, to blame but they forgive one another and they're able to to move on from it and I think that's, that was a very touching and, and beautiful note. And it only worked because they made both these characters likable. Now, Michael B. Jordan has talked about how he took inspiration from anime. And it is shown <laughs> in this fight scene. It, it is definitely uh, recognizable and it's appreciated. And I think the third act alone is uh, worth the price of admission uh, for, for watching this. The camera work always stays centered on the two fighters. We get to see very exaggerated uh, attacks and positioning as well as them being striked. It's still keeps the same theme and feeling as the other Creed films where there's this very fast movement where things feel a little bit sped up, but it does take its time and I think has, I don't think, I definitely know this one is the best choreographed fight of all three films. I would recommend this film and I would give Creed 3 a 7 out of 10. Until next time, play nice.